age 62 years of marriage. <laughs> Folks, we have the formula, and this is what it's all about. Tonight, we're gonna find out everything we need to know about these beautiful couples, and tonight, the game is as simple as this. Couples, listen up very carefully. You put your name at the top of that paper, and what I need you to do right now is I need you to turn away completely from your other half. If you need to find out his name, that's not a good start to the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name again, please? Okay, <laughs> write down your names and turn away from each other because for the next 25 minutes, you will not speak, communicate whatsoever, okay? Tonight, there will be eight questions and the aim of the game is for you to try and match your answer with your better half. How well do you know each other? Now, tonight, there are a couple of no-nos, okay? First up, you can't write down the answer yes, no, I don't know, nothing, and he's perfect in every way. No, we don't want to hear that, because we're here for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Exactly, that's why they're here. And also, tonight, you might have to write down an answer that might be a little naughty, a little dirty, a little raunchy. Please, for the love of God, write it down, okay? <laughs> You know what you want, you know. Now, we're gonna find out where our couples are from, what their names are, so first stop, let's start with the newlyweds. One day of marriage, first of all, what's your name? Brittany. Brittany and? Corey. Corey, and where are you guys from? Rhode Island. Rhode Island, let's hear for Rhode Island. 23 years, hi there sweetie, what's your name? Kim. Kim, beautiful name, that's my wife's name. Kim and? Dwayne. Dwayne, where are you from? La Vienna. Laos, <laughs> Louisiana, I do love Louisiana, I do love it. All right, we go Louisiana, and then over here, 62 years, and what's your name? Emily. Emily, and over here, sir, what's your name? Can I tell you? You can tell me, yes. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse, and where are you from? Southern Illinois. Illinois, Southern Illinois. We're now gonna go through those answers. Now remember, if you get a match, you got to turn around and give your other half a little kiss on the lips. But if you don't get a match, everybody here is gonna go uh, uh, just like that. So let's start with the easy one, okay? The easiest one of the night. I asked the couples, couples, I want you to rate your first ever kiss with each other out of 10. So let's start over here. Newlyweds, Brittany, a day of marriage. But 15 years ago, that first time you hooked up, what number did you give that kiss? A 10, that is so nice of you, Brittany. That is very nice. You should feel very happy about that. On the other hand, you should feel very scared. She said 10. What did you say, Corey? Eight. Eight! It's not a match, it's a... First, no match, no match. All right, Dwayne, Dwayne. That first time you locked lips with the lovely Kim. What number did you give that kiss? Ten. A ten. That is so nice. You're good, such a romantic. You really are. Oh, Kim. <laughs> he said, she just went, I love you. Don't you talk. Don't start digging now. He said ten. What did you say? Seven. Seven! No. All right, come on, over here. Beautiful, seasoned love of 62 years. Emily, what number did you give that kiss? A 10. A 10, a beautiful number. <laughs> Jesse, she said a 10. What did you say? 10. It's a match! Give her a kiss. Aww. That's love, that's love. Okay, well done. Now, next one, here we go. Question two. I asked the couples where and in what year did you first set eyes on each other? Now let's start all the way down here with the newlyweds again. Now I want to start with the ladies, because ladies, like I said, happy wife, happy life. Ladies, first of all, Brittany, where was it in the first of the year that you first set eyes on Corey? 2008 and Hope Street. Hope Street in 2008. Now remember the year, folks. 2008, okay? 
2008. <laughs> hope Street. Listen, you got no hope with this next answer. <laughs> now, what did you say? What, what, where was it, first of all? At the bus stop for school. The bus stop for school. What was the year? 2001. 2001. So you were looking at her for seven years from the bus stop. And finally the bus stopped at Hope Street and she saw him. That's dedication, I'm telling you right now. But sadly, it's not a match, it's a... Oh, man. All right, over here. All right, let's do this, you ready? Kim, where was it and what was the year you first set eyes on Dwayne? Sierra Sitch truck stop in Reno, Nevada in May of 99. Oh, you got the month as well. So, Sierra truck stop in the... <laughs> Sierra Sitch truck stop, Reno, Nevada, May 1999. Hold on, what did you say? Now, first off, what did you say where it was? Sitch truck stop, it was in 98. 98. In December. In December. <laughs> Now, let's be honest, you did put down 2009 for your first answer and scored it out. You were <laughs> he was thinking. Now, now listen, Kim, he's adamant it was December and, and 1998. Who's right? For six months before I <laughs> noticed him. He chased you for six months before you noticed him. So basically, for one year you were a stalker and then you got together. Beautiful, okay, that's fine. But it's not a match, it's a... They were close, they were close. All right, you ready, Emily? Where was it, and what was the year you first set eyes on each other? It was in my boyfriend's car. In 1961. 1961, in her boyfriend's car, she set eyes on Jesse. Now, Jesse, first of all, let's start with a year. She said 1961. What did you say? We were married in 61. We met in 60. 60. No. Oh, okay. Listen, we got Dr. Phil back here. Dr. No, no, I think you're wrong, right? You give in. But can I just say, my favorite part of this answer, right? She said in her boyfriend's car. What did you say? That is in my friend's car. Your friend's car! <laughs> in the friend's strong boyfriend's car. Yeah. I talked him into joining the name and got rid of him. <laughs> Hold to the Navy, you'll be great. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> but folks, it's not a match, it's a... Uh, it's close, the year was just off. All right, let's move on. Question number three. I asked the ladies, ladies, if you could change two things on your husband, make it one thing bigger and one thing smaller, what would it be? Let's start in the middle, first of all. Let's start with Kim. Kim, let's start with you. First off, what would you like a little smaller? A little smaller on the way? Belly. A little belly. Listen, that happens. My wife says the same. A little belly, right? Now, bigger, I gotta be, I gotta say this. Um, uh, okay. Um, let me try and make this family friendly. Um, <laughs> Folks, I don't know if you know this, but um, Kim and uh, the lovely Dwayne, they have a beautiful house, a uh, really nice house. And, uh, and, 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 and Kim really loves her kitchen. It's one of our favorite places. And she's got all these lovely little kind of mugs and cups she collects. And the thing is though, there's a door at the top she can't reach. And, and Dwayne struggles to get up there as well. So she has a lovely next door neighbor. His name is Mr. Johnson and she <laughs> loves him. Because Mr. Johnson is really big and she loves how big he is. Because he can reach those places that Dwayne can't. So she's like, ooh, big Johnson. So, 
Kim said she would like a bigger next door neighbor. All right. Now, first up, you got half. No, nothing for half points in this game. What do you say for smaller? My belly. And what did you say for bigger? My ego. Your ego. <laughs> it's not a match. It's a... All right, let's go over here. First up, now, what would you like a little smaller? A little smaller on the lovely Jesse. His nose. Oh, a little smaller nose. Okay. Now, bigger. <laughs> Bigger, I, I got you. I got. Don't you worry. I'm gonna take care of this, um, folks. I don't know if you know this, but Jesse and Emily have a beautiful house. And, uh, <laughs> and Emily has a beautiful kitchen, and she loves that kitchen. But again, she can't reach some of those places. So they have a lovely next door neighbor. His name is Mr. Pecker. And he comes around. And she loves the big Pecker. He's big, he's thick, he's thick. He can't even fit through the door. Big guy. So Emily would like a bigger next door neighbor as well. All right, okay. First up. <laughs> I gotta go with this. <laughs> no, she said she wants a bigger next door neighbor. <laughs> what did you think she'd say for bigger? Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy! <laughs> and folks, every week at the community watch, Mr. Pecker likes to also be known as Mr. Happy. <laughs> so that's one. Now, she said smaller nose. <laughs> what did you say for smaller? Well, I have got to clarify this. I, I don't have a lot of gas, and I can walk across the 10th room and fart. <laughs> said, smaller farts, bigger Mr. Happy. <laughs> He's got a match, it's a... Oh, wow. Okay, newlyweds, let's do this. All right, Brittany, first off, what would you like smaller on Corey? Attitude. His attitude! Ooh, you better turn that down. Okay, and for smaller, oh, wait a second. Okay, I got this. Um. <laughs> Folks, Brittany and Corey have a beautiful house. All right. But um, not only do you have a beautiful house, they got a beautiful place. They like to hang out. But 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 uh, but but Brittany, she I'm running out of words. Brittany, she has uh, she loves Netflix. She loves Netflix. But but he doesn't because she loves it when when uh, all these stuff about crimes and stuff on Netflix. And her favorite show is called Mr. Private Dick, and it's quite cool. He's a great thing, and and he's a big big thing on Netflix. So she would like a bigger. I'm not saying it. Okay. So you said smaller attitude, bigger nah. Okay. Now what did you say for bigger? Uh, hairline. Hairline and smaller? Belly. Belly, no matches. It's a... Yeah. Wow. Ladies, at least you can all say you have something in common. Okay. You all love your neighbors. All right. Folks, question number four. <laughs> I asked the men, men, if you could allow your wives to have one night of passion with any celebrity that she wants, who would she pick, all right? Now this one's pretty good, let's do this. You ready for this, Jesse? Jesse, if Emily could have one night of passion, who would she pick? She gets all shook up over Elvis. Elvis! All shook up over Elvis. All right, Emily, what you gonna say? Give her a kiss, give her a kiss. Ooh, there we go. Next up, you ready for this? Oh, this is hilarious. Now, one night of passion with any celebrity that she wants. Now, remember what you said when you think she got bigger? You said ego, right? Now, what did you say for the celebrity that she would have one night of passion with? I used to be a celebrity. But not now? No. And so you said? Me. You said me. 
He said, me? Who do you want to have one night of passion with? I said Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer! Woo! Top Gun, Top Gun. But it's not a match, it's a... Unlucky, unlucky. All right, over here. You ready for this? Corey, who do you think Kim would have one night of passion with? Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski. He is big in real life. I met him. He's pretty cool. Nice guy. Now, Rob Gronkowski is what he said. What did you say, Brittany? Rob Gronkowski. It's a match! Give her a kiss! Corey, give her a kiss! Yes! It's a match! It's a match! Okay. Question number five. I asked the couples, couples, if there was a parrot in your bedroom, what noise or phrase would it repeat over and over again? Now, couples, I forgot to mention one thing. I always forget. I've forgotten for the last eight years, deliberately. Because, folks, when you give me this answer, you have to say it the way it sounds in the bedroom. So if it makes a noise, you have to make the noise. If it says it a certain way, you have to say it a certain way. So let's start this time all the way over here with our couple in the middle, Dwayne and the lovely Kim. So Kim, I, I gotta go here first. I'm gonna go here first. Dwayne, what does your parents say? You go boy. You go boy. You go boy. <laughs> You go, boy, and then all of a sudden, what did your parents say? Stop it. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you go, boy, stop it. <laughs> it's not a match, it's a... <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see, okay. First up, Corey. Gonna say it with feeling. You ready for this? You know when you're in that zone, you hear that parrot? What does that parrot say? Let's bang. Let's bang! How romantic you are. Let's bang. And what does your parrot say? Stop snoring. Stop snoring! Ain't no banging going on. It's not a match, it's a... Now get ready. Get ready for this. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. Are you ready, Jesse? I'm going to you first. Oh, he's standing up for this. Jesse, take it away. What does it say? Zippy, zippy, do. What do I got for you? For you, what does your parents say, Emily? Zippy, zippy, do. <laughs> it's a match. Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. All right. I promise, once this cruise over the announcement system, I'm gonna say it once, and if you know, you know, right? Everybody else is probably like, what is he talking about? Zippy zippy doo, look what I got for you. 
Hi, folks. Question number six. I asked the ladies, ladies, what's the first thing your man touches when he wakes up in the morning? The first thing he touches when he wakes up in the morning. Let's start here. First up, Emily, what's the first thing Jesse touches when he wakes up in the morning? The alarm clock. The alarm clock, okay. Jesse, what's the first thing you touch? Mr. Happy. Mr. <laughs> Not a match, but it's a, but it's a great answer, a wonderful answer. Hi, right, Kim. Kim, what's the first thing? <laughs> now he's very, very. A lot of things are going on here. What's the first thing he touches when he wakes up in the morning? Uh, himself, then my breasts. Himself, then your breasts. Okay. What's the first thing you touch? Her sexy butt. Her butt. Someone else is touching your breasts. I don't know who it is. But it's not a match, it's a... And over here, let's do this. Can, uh, Brittany, what's the first thing Corey touches when he wakes up in the morning? His phone. His phone. <laughs> Corey, she said phone. What did you say? D's nuts. D's nuts! <laughs> yes, bro! Yeah! Zippy, zippy, do look what I got for you. It's not a match, it's a... Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, last one. Uh, second last one, sorry. Number seven. I asked the couples, couples, where's the strangest place you've ever made rumpy pumpy? The strangest place. So we're gonna go back down to our newlyweds this time. We're gonna start with you, Brittany. Brittany. Where's the strangest place that you and Corey have ever made the rumpy pumpy? In the woods. In the woods, okay, in the woods. Corey, what did you say? In the middle of the woods. In the woods, it's a match, give me a kiss. Nice. All right, you ready for this one? Here we go. Kim, where's the strangest place that you and Dwayne have ever made the rumpy pumpy? On a rock in Catalina Island after we sailed there. On a rock on Catalina Island after you sailed there, okay? And what did you say, Dwayne? On a rock, behind a rock. Behind a rock <laughs> in a park on Catalina Island. There we go, give her a kiss, got a match. <laughs> All right, get ready for this, folks. <laughs> Emily, sweet Emily. With a face so pure and innocent, Emily. Where's the strangest place that you and Jesse have ever made the rumpy bumpy? In a graveyard. In a graveyard! <laughs> wow. Wow. Jesse, I bet you were dead excited, weren't you? <laughs> now she said a graveyard. What did you say? I said a cemetery because she won't stop in for a stiff one. <laughs> cemetery to stop off for a stiff one. <laughs> Zippa zippa do look what I got for you. It's a max though, give her a kiss, well done. Great job, they're wonderful. And finally folks, the last one tonight, multiple choice, ask the couples, couples, I ask you what movie best describes your love life. Is it the Fast and the Furious, the Good, the Bad and the Ugly, are gone in 60 seconds. So let's start off all the way down here. Let's try and get a full match tonight. First off, Corey, what movie did you say? Good, the bad, and the ugly. Good, the bad, and the ugly. What do you say, Brittany? Gone in 60 seconds. Gone in 60 seconds. Oh man, it's not a match, it's a... All right, let's see what we got over here. Next up, Dwayne, what movie did you say? GBU. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And what did you say, Kim? Gone in 60 seconds. Gone in 60 seconds. Wait a second. That's exactly the same things that you wrote. Wow. It's not a match. It's a... And finally down here, first up, Emily. To get a match tonight, what movie best describes your love life? Fast and the Furious. 
Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. <laughs> and Jesse, for the last one tonight, what movie did you say? Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs>